Hello, uh, this is Sugar Paper and this is two sheets of lino that are exactly the same size, the same width rather. Look, there they are each side and here is a press mould I've made out of plaster earlier on today. Here is some clay. I'm squidging it and tearing bits off. Now I'm squidging it and mauling it into a, a round shape and pressing it a little bit flat. Look how flat it is now. Now I am finding a round cylindrical object, this and it, look how I roll it. Yeah, see how it doesn't go all the way down onto the board because of the lino, you see. <laughs> anyway, well, I, if you're going to roll it really flat for any length of time, things can get sticky. So you use the sugar paper to stop things sticking. There it all is, laid out neatly. Here I am rolling it and it'll only go that flat because it can't go any flatter because of the lino there. I mean, obviously, lino is just something I had hanging around. Look, there it is, the right thickness. Now, now. I can grab my press mould. Here's my press mould and I plop, pop it in the middle. And, <laughs> and then I, you just basically lay a bit of clay on top of the press mould and you squidge it down with your fingertips and gently squidging it from the centre outwards towards the edge. And then I've just flattened it off a little bit to give it a little bit of solidity around the edge so that it's more compressed so I can gently peel it. Now the plaster will absorb moisture. That's the beauty of plaster. So there you go. It is uh, pressed and moulded. <laughs> now I've got to cut the sides off it just so that it can be less wasteful not because I, it, it's done in any way at this stage. So I cut the sides off and it, it is always easier to cut by pressing than cutting. If you try and drag anything through clay, wet clay, you'll just end up with like puckering and dragging and twisting your clay around. So that's that's not ideal. Here I go again. Look Roll it out, it'll only go that far. Look, you can't go any higher. You can tell you can't go any higher because it's just squishing whatever's gone higher. And then you pop it on top of the press mould and gently press. I'm working inwards on this because it's really tiny and I don't really care about... It's not deep, you see. If it was deep, you'd have to work from the centre and then gently drape outwards. But because it's it's not deep, it's very shallow. And just, just ease it from the sides. And because plaster is an amazing substance, it's still sucking moisture from the clay. And that, that dryness in connection with the plaster means that it detaches more easily. <laughs> Unlike that. Okay, and then um, you can just keep doing it. Keep doing it until you've saturated plaster, basically, which will be a while. Even this plaster's not dry yet, I can tell. It takes about a couple of days, perhaps longer, for plaster to properly dry. Still kind of like cheesy and soft in itself, but it because it's more or less starting to dry out it, it, it's willing to suck some moisture out of this soft wet clay anyway I mean it's only polymer clay it's not it's not like proper clay so it's got that you can tell because of the fibers you see the fibers the um, the kind of like you know fleecy fibers coming out from the sides and that's the third this is kind of like how many I thought I'd do to just show the concept of what I'm gonna do and um, obviously this is gonna look like spud but the plan is that when they're all put together, if you look, Jen, I can't stick these together because because this type of clay, Das Pronto, it, it, it kind of it, it it sticks together better than normal clay dry, but also it doesn't stick together as well as normal clay when it's wet. But you can see how it can make a cube if I have six. So there you go. <laughs>